All right, today's workout is about trying to keep a stable core, and we're gonna go through some, what I call sort of basic moves using static planking, uh, but they're an advanced core exercise. So in a rehab world, they're actually quite advanced because you need a lot of stability and strength and no pain really to do these, but in an exercise world, they're quite basic because they're very static, not that fancy, but these are really, really good for people who want to maintain a stable, neutral spine and have problems mostly with their anterior core strength. So some people who can lift well, they might be able to lift well, they've got good glutes, they've got big lumbar extensors, they're very strong, but they lack strength here. And some people who lack strength here and are very strong in the back tend to end up with a bit of a pelvic tilt. So an anterior pelvic tilt means, means they've got too much lordosis here, which means they are distended here. And if, if that's in that position all the time, they're going to be weak naturally in a static posture during the day. So this is for people who have got perhaps a bit of hypermobility in their lower back. They stand naturally with a little bit of a lordosis. They've got a bit of weakness in the front, or maybe they're too strong here. And for people who are runners, this is the one where if you get pain running because of that posture, this is a really good one for you. We find in the clinic that people who are running, standing, walking for long periods, who have this position get really sore lower back. So as soon as they start strengthening up their anterior core, meaning rectus abdominis, obliques, transverse abs, as soon as they start getting this section tighter, stronger, and it creates a more neutral posture in standing, then they stop getting as much pain. So if you're one of those people, this one's for you. So we're gonna go through some exercises that I wanna show you to help with that. First one, classic plank. Now, this one builds up your rectus abdominis, obliques, transverse abs, as long as you're doing the right thing. And it's used to try and keep a neutral spine, all right? So it's an endurance exercise, right? And like I said, this is basic. People can add on a lot of things to this, but start with the basics. So you need to be set up in elbows, okay? And then make sure your spine is a neutral. So you can't be sagged here, you've got to be neutral spine. I like starting on my knees to get, like, okay, where's my spine position? Needs to be about there, subtle curve. I want to be slightly protracted, so don't sink down into retraction, because then you'll arch your back. So, neutral spine here, and a little bit of protraction in there. And once you've got that position, you've got to really grip with your hands, and I want you to straighten your legs, squeeze your butt. So you're going to hold that position there, and try and maintain it. Now this is an endurance exercise, so don't let your body switch off your glutes or sag your back. It's got to be into there, and you've got to try and hold it. Now if you get to the point where you get to say 30 seconds or so, and you start getting sore or shaking, you can simply keep your neutral spine, drop your knees, and then continue to a minute in that position. Making sure your head is not sunk down, okay? It's not arched up too much. It's nice and long, looking down and forward. Now, if you recover, and you haven't got the minute, you can then go again, okay? Straighten your knees, go again, keep your quads on, keep your glutes fired up, push away from the floor, and maintain that, all right? Now, that plank position, so that's your basic plank. Of course, when you get really good at it, you've got your endurance up, you can start doing it in a TRX, you can start doing pikes, you can start doing all sorts of things, but like I said, it's an advanced core exercise for people with back problems or back pain or weakness, but it's really quite a basic position for people who are fit. So it's good for both, right? So that's your first one. The second one is trying to work, again, static with the core, but now dynamic with the body. So you're gonna do the same position here and roll the ball out. So we call this ball roll out, uh -huh. but this position here, I would come forward on the ball and start, and you start off with your thighs vertical and your, your upper arm vertical. You just gotta work, I'm using a mirror so I can help see it. This is very handy. So in this position here, same like your plank. When you move forward, I want both your hips and your hands moving forward at the same time. Now, if you watch my back, I don't wanna do this, okay? So I've gotta think, okay, I've gotta start a neutral spine so let's come back and start again. I'll roll forward. So what I'm doing is hip extension, shoulder flexion, elbow extension. Now go forward, knee extension, go forward to where I feel like I'm gonna shake, hold it there, pull it back, 
look at my neutral spine, keep it there, all right? So let's try that again. Set up your neutral spine. Hips go forward. So if you see I'm bending at the hip joint and I'm bending at the shoulder joint, whereas my core, I'm trying to maintain stick. So I've actually got to readjust my spine because it wants to do this. So I've got weakness, I want to go into that position there. As it gets hard, as my rectus abdominis and my obliques all lengthen out, okay, as they lengthen out, they're going to get weaker. So I'm going to have to work harder because they're going to just start letting go. So this position, set up, as I go to here, they're going to start letting one go. I've got to work harder, I'm going to get the glutes on, really got to work harder, reach out, and then keep it on, pull back. Now when I pull back, don't stick your bum back, okay? Stay from that position and just reverse evenly, so then I end up, look at that, thighs and elbows vertical, okay? So you end up in the same position, you just reverse it. Gee, it's hot out here today, it's Sydney weather, okay? So those ones again, that is a static core movement, but because it's this dynamic part, you have to keep readjusting as you move through your hip joint, through your shoulder joint, you've got to keep it dynamic. So it's very good sports specific type work. Um, but again, it's a basic exercise, meaning all you have to do is keep that core stable. People can advance that if their strength decreases, and this is where you get one of those wheels and you roll the wheel out, okay? So things get harder and harder and harder, right? And again, you need that nice stable um, anterior core, things like pushing a sled, it's the same sort of position, right? So that's a really good one to start with. Now, that's your anterior core. We still need to work on a little bit of obliques here and a little bit of QL. So those ones do work your obliques, but I want to work the side as well because it's always forgotten. So, side plank. Now, with your side plank, over there. This is, you know, most people start with on their knees, so this is going on your feet. And I want to give you a few tips on this one. So when you're on your side plank, you start off with going. Now, if you look at me, I'm in a bent position, okay? So no good for my spine if I'm in a low that position. So like I've said with all the other side plank videos, you've got to make sure you go to neutral that way. Alright, so neutral that way. So that's bent, neutral that way. So when I push, I'm going to push through my elbow, I'm going to lock my shoulder down, I've really got to tighten my core here, and I'm going to just go and straighten my legs, so I thrust forward. Now, this position, I'm going to have both thighs on, both glutes on, okay? And then if I look at this, I have a nice line down from my arm right through to my elbow. So there's a nice line through my shoulders, so I'm nice and stable here, okay? So the force is going directly into it, but I'm pushing away, so I'm not dropping down the joint, pushing away, then I get my obliques, bit of QL, okay, in this position here. Now here, here's your stable position, all right? Keep your thighs on, stay on the edges. Now, if you notice, my top leg is forward. Top leg is forward, this position here. And then what you're gonna try and do is hold it. Now, to advance it, people start doing this, okay? Now in that position, of course, you're not allowed to move. So let me show you the other side, as I fatigue on that side. Let me show you this one. So again, set myself up, grip on here, straighten my legs, there we go. Look in the mirror, get your position right. Okay, get my angle right. Now, if I'm gonna do an arm tuck under, what I don't wanna do, I can move my upper body, I don't wanna move my pelvis. So I'm not rotating my pelvis, because that's unstable. So I'm trying to keep it stable here. Really trying to keep this on. And I'm gonna go down with the arm, if you watch, I reach under, so it's just my thoracic and my shoulder moving. Now what I'm doing there is challenging my core to maintain stability, maintain neutral, don't move, while some part of my other body moves, right? So I'm trying to make my brain say, don't move here. When my arm goes, don't go and be slack and move. I've got to keep it stable, rotate around, and work like that. Now of course, again, Pretty basic, but hard, it's hard work. So you've got to be ready for, you've got to be strong enough. So if these exercises, even though they are, you know, relatively sort of easy as far as keeping us, keeping what we have to do, if you're being weak or you're in pain, you've got to start the lower level ones. Okay, so look at the lower level exercises, then move up to it. And of course, that side plank moves to, you know, raising one leg off the other. You see people doing this sort of thing where you're, you know, you're in here and they might be there and they're doing this sort of stuff, okay? Those are all advancements, so stick to the basics because you're trying to work on endurance strength of this muscle system for stability.
for sport, for posture, for running. Okay? So work on those three. All right, that's it.